What's up, peeps? We are back. Welcome back to another episode of Road to the Stage. Episode 19, I think we're on now. But yeah, it's crazy. We are officially one day out from the RABBF Nationals. And tomorrow, which will be Saturday, the 22nd, I believe, we are competing in the under 80 kg category. Can you believe that? So no first timers this time. We're going up against people that obviously have competed before, but we're still going for that win, baby. We want that second trophy to go beside my, you know, my other locker. On the other side of the bed, I need to fill that space with another trophy and another gold medal. Please God, fingers crossed. All the work is done. I feel like I've improved since the last show. I feel like I'm a little bit tighter. So condition is going to be on point. So the goal is to walk out on stage just like the last show and just be like, yep, boom, that's the clear winner. <laughs> so yeah, today my weight was 174 and a half pounds, which makes me, what, two pounds lighter than, what was that, 172 and a half pounds lighter than the last show one day out. You know, which is pretty crazy. That's a clear indicator. I'm definitely leaner. And the goal is I have to weigh in tonight at 7 p.m. So I have to be 176 pounds. So I cannot go above that today. So I'll be super careful how much water I drink today. And obviously no carbs, which was the plan anyway, not to have carbs today. But yeah, that's hopefully all goes well now because if I don't make weight I'll have to go up into the under 90 kg category and all them big boys have an extra 10 kg on me now we won't want that now do we <laughs> but yeah I, I think it won't be an issue but yeah I'm very happy now with how I'm looking the last two weeks you know that time in between the two shows was very very hard you know I really really dug deep for this for this one like and I ended up getting the flu um, 10 days out, which made it even worse. So that was draining the life out of me on top of like, you know, trying to prep for the second show. But we got it done. We got it done. And yeah, I'm just out here now. I'm all ready to go, all packed up. Just wait until about 12 o'clock to go in and see the Queen. And we will be driving out to Limerick then. And I'll be able to show you the hotel and give you a little tour. And then I have to do my first base coat then at half three, a quarter to four. Then I have to go in and do register for the show, do the weigh-in, that's at 7 p.m. And then I have to do another base coat at 8.30 p.m. So it's all go today. And yeah, tomorrow morning then we get another top coat and then we compete for that trophy. Um, you know, Vinny showed me a trophy the other day. And the, I think the winner gets of the class this trophy with, you know, a statue of a man like holding a head of a lion. Now that is pretty cool because you all know how much I love lions. I'm planning on getting a tattoo of a lion on my shoulder and a sleeve all the way down. So I need that trophy. It was made for Steve O. So I'm really, really, really hoping I can get this one and put Kenny on the map, baby. So. I just want to show you something here before I go in. I got me all corned beef. Ooh, oh, it smells so good. I love corned beef. I, I can't wait to put this on a roll Sunday. A nice, warm, juicy roll with butter. And I have 10 slices of corned beef here. I just love it. But I don't really eat it that much when I'm bulking for some reason. But for, for some weird reason, every time I finish a cut or... And like that, I just crave the corned beef so bad. And I got it um the last show, the second, you know, the day after, I got a nice corned beef roll and I loved it. So I have to do it again for this one. But yeah. So I shall check back in then when I am with the Queen. And it's funny because the last show on the way into Claire, I had to drop my car into the mechanic to leave it there just to get fixed for the NCT, right? And now this show, I have to bring my second car in, my Starla, into the mechanic to get it ready for the NCT and collect it on the way back. It's crazy, isn't it? It's all money having these bloody cars. The NCT is the same time, the insurance, same time, the 
bloody tax at the same time is double trouble but you know I do love this baby so it's worth it but yeah anyway I thought it was a bit of a coincidence a coincidence that I had to bring the car in again this for the second show uh, the other car yeah anyway that's enough jibber jabber I'm gonna go in and eat a meal and kind of just relax for a few minutes then before I go into Claire so I shall see it when I'm with the Queen my peeps Look who we have here! The Queen is back for round two! Ding 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 a ling a ding! And we are en route to Limerick and we are on the motorway which took us a while to get onto and find but we're here and we nearly crashed. I'm pretty sure I said that in the last in the last <laughs> vlog as well. But yeah, it looks like I've no hair the way the lighting is. No hair, my peeps. It's all gone. We've gone shaving for this show. Clean shave. Have a small bit. I don't know why the lighting is hiding it on me, but yeah. Yes, we are going to Limerick. We are going to Kilmurray, Kilmurray Lodge is the name of the hotel. And we have an executive suite. So my very first time ever seeing one. Don't know what it's going to be like. It's It looks pretty huge. Having two rooms in there. So I can hide in the other room when Claire's giving out to me. <laughs> So yeah, it's, I can't wait to show you now and hopefully it looks unreal uh, like the last hotel but we shall see and then by the time we get there and leave the bags in I'll have to run and get my base coat done so it's all go 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 and then over to get my check in done and register and then boom over get another time so I just I'm looking forward to just relaxing and lying down after all this now and Great, won't it, Claire? We get to watch a bit of television together. Yeah? <laughs> Are you excited about this show, Claire? Yes. Yeah? You're going for two for two, baby. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, and we she brought the lovely cake, the what's it called? Chocolate biscuit cake. Chocolate biscuit cake with a hung with a hippo on top of it and the big massive triangles. <laughs> A hippo, because that's what you're going to look like after this weekend. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to find it very hard to not get fat this weekend. Um, because I have so much stuff I want to try. It's not even funny. Um, it's crazy because I haven't eaten anything in like five months. There's all these new things in shops now, different chocolate bars and stuff like that. I'm just like, oh my god, I have to try it all. But, you know, we get it out of the system and then we move on. We make gains, baby. So, it's absolutely pissing rain. And I'm terrified it's going to ruin my tan. So, I did bring a coat and an umbrella. So, hopefully, nothing goes wrong, my peeps. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, we're going for two for two this week. Hopefully, we can bring home another gold for Kikenny. And... Are we going to make it happen, my love? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah? You feel confident in this one and me? Yes, definitely. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Coming for number one again. Yeah, it has to be. Yes. Nothing else will do, so no pressure. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, <laughs> I do feel a little bit of pressure again from your boy Steve-O. Or <laughs> from... from where do I feel the pressure from? Everybody. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because I think uh, I think a lot of people expect me to do really good again, so you do have that pressure, and especially when one of the judges tell you you're going to win, and tell you that he's going to come up to the come up to you at the show and say I told you so. So when you have that kind of pressure in your head, it's like, oh my God, I have to do this, you know, because you don't know who's going to show up. So some crazy genetic freak and show up and just blow me away and then I'll be like oh no why did you tell me I was gonna win but no we're coming and we're coming ready we're coming to take home that trophy and hopefully it's that line your man holding the lion's head so yeah I'm just gonna check back in then when we get to the hotel and give you a little tour of the crib where we will be staying for a few hours <laughs> Are you looking forward to it there? Yeah. Yes. So, peace out Cub Scouts. 
We have landed my peeps. We are in Kilmurray Lodge in Limerick and I'm gonna give you a little tour of the crib while I let my tan dry because I got my first base coat done and I'm just letting this dry out and then we're gonna head over and register and get the weigh in done and then go get the second base coat done of the night and then I finally get to relax but um yeah it's only like what five o'clock yeah five o'clock now and registration at last seven so I'm not allowed to eat or drink anything until then until we make weight and then I finally get to eat my meals and I'm starving and I feel like dead I just want my food <laughs> so I just have to hang in there until we get the way in done anyway because uh, we definitely want to make that weight category so I'm going to give you a little tour of my peeps and we'll show you what we're working with in this executive suite my very first time staying in something like this and it's absolutely savage and very homely right so I'm going to start off with the bathroom so here we have the bathroom the big massive mirror with the good lighting as always first base coat see how she's looking I don't want to take it off I need a tan by trying to show you boom look at them abs how many is there one two three four Ooh -wee. we are looking tight and then we got the shower yep pretty all right bathroom and we got the scales because we want to make sure we make that weight baby so we're going to take it in it's pretty dark in here now but i shall do my best to show you we got the queen queen of the castle <laughs> so hello peeps, hello, peeps. <laughs> she's chilling on the bed relaxing soaking up every minute of her time off <laughs> picturing me holding the trophy <laughs> yes and then we got the food yep just exactly like last time my peeps look we have Claire's here all the good stuff and we got mine over here and as you can see we got my oats for the morning just like last time and we got the pump pre show pump crisps this is the secret we kept everything the exact same the rice crispy bars boom and the special weapon yes jelly snacks that's the answer to the trophy my peeps peanut bar rice cakes and jam is somewhere in my cooler box and then yeah water lots of water not that i can have any of it but here we have this is the view now it's no sea like the last one but still it's pretty pretty hard right? you know it's just i don't know what it is a hotel a house i don't know but yeah pretty cool and then we have the best part look at this it's like a mini sitting room absolutely savage and I definitely don't want to stay in a hotel anymore that's not executive suite because I could get used to this. Look at this because, you know, you get sick of the bed. You get to just come over here and lie on the couch. You feel real at home. Savages, isn't it? And look what they gave us. They're already at one. A snack bar. Some strawberries. They're going to my oats tomorrow. Got the kettle and the television. Yeah. So... very happy man it's a very good little room I must say and you can see I have my cooler box there with all my chicken and rice which isn't much but it's for tomorrow for the show day and yeah that's about everything my peeps the weather is fairly shit so I'll try my best not to let the rain destroy this tan um, over the next two days so I pray to God tomorrow won't be as bad but I brought a coat and umbrella just in case I was prepared this time and yeah looking forward to standing on stage my peeps and bringing home trophy number two hopefully but yeah that's the room 
Hotel is very nice. Love it. There's a gym downstairs, but I won't be using it. I checked it out. It's a little small, a little... It's okay, but we won't be needing that. Uh, but yeah, there's a McDonald's literally just two seconds away. So, Vinny said McDonald's might be on the cards tomorrow morning to load up, get huge. Um, but he kind of changed his mind at the same time and we might keep things the exact same as last time just the oats the the rice chicken we'll see anyway but fingers crossed we get that McDougal's um yeah what do you think of the room Claire? Savage. <laughs> you love it? Yes. Steve would it Steve would it good? Yeah. Yeah yeah it's very nice now so very nice and cozy so I'll probably check back in after registration, let you know how I get on, show you my badge number, hopefully it's number eight again, and what else is there, and show you my second uh, base call, and um, my last two meals, yeah. I just have to keep making sure I go wee-wees and try to get lighter and lighter, because I was a little bit over the 176 about two hours ago, I was 176 and three quarter pounds. So that's why I'm not eating or drinking anything until after registration, yeah. So anyway, I shall see it. Quarter to seven, as if time means anything in this YouTube video, but yeah. Talk to them, my peeps. We are finally back from registration and getting the second base coat done. Boy, oh boy, has it been a long, stressful, frustrating day, that's for sure. It was definitely a lot more stressful than doing the PCA two weeks ago. Uh, so, where did we start, right? So, with the registration, it took so long to do because it didn't start at 7 p.m. like it should have it started about half seven and Then there was like five different tables. You had to go to each one was a different like section So one was where you put your music in for the show the next one was where you kind of sign this document York then the next one you go up and get weighed and then another table to hand in your your membership card and show proof of payment um, yeah, it was crazy, like very strangely run and, you know, it just took a long time and I had to be gone out there by half eight to get my tan done, so it was like a, a real rush, um, trying to get it all done and... And we're both so tired and cranky that we nearly just got divorced. Yeah. <laughs> this one... We've had multiple arguments tonight. <laughs> This one has been an absolute nightmare. And I'm going to explain what she did now in a second. I wasn't going to say anything, but now that she said that, I'm going to tell you what happened in a minute, right? But, yeah, she's come back to life now because she's got her oats in her now. So she was being hungry the last few hours. So cranky Claire is not a happy Claire. And your boy, your boy was hungry too. Um, right, yeah. And, right, first I'll start off with the win, right? So... I knew I was 175 pounds, which is a pound under 80 kg um, for the weight cap. So when I stood on the scales, took off my clothes, knew I was on the money, went up, it says 81 kg. I was like, it's not possible. I, I just weighed myself, you know. And then they were like, get off it and get on again. I stood on it again and it was going nearly back to 81 again. But I realized if I stood a bit to the side, it went back down to 80. So I was able to kind of manipulate the weight because this weighing scales was made in... 1920s I would say it's a bloody arrow yoke you know like the very first scales you've probably ever seen in your life it's not even digital like you would think at this day and age right and it wasn't on a flat surface it was on carpet but everybody knows you don't put a bloody scales on a carpet and it was just on a piece of cardboard so it couldn't be any far off um but thank god like it was even though like he said right you're eight you're 80 so I'm, I got into my weight category, thank God, because I didn't want to be going into the under 90s. Like that's too much of a gap, 90 kg, you know. They're like the heavyweights. So I'm very, very happy. I was, I was shaking with nerves, because I was like, no, don't do this to me now. Because I didn't eat or drink anything for like four hours to make weight for it. Um, so I'm very, very happy, you know, we got into the weight category because I knew I was within the weight. I, judging by the list, there was four people in my category, but I think a lot of people overweighed in, so there could be more people in it now, which is good. So more people to win, to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was very, very happy then. A few people came up to me congratulating me on my win last time, and 
saying that I was a standout at the show and very good condition. Yeah, so and then, right, so we finally got registered, we're on the money, we go out on time, go get the tan done. I'm there on time for my tan. It was supposed to be half a, didn't get seen to, to like 20 to 10. Was it? No, yeah, about 20 to 10. And uh, then I didn't get out to like 10 past 10. I'm only home now. And we have the second coat done. And then tomorrow morning I go back for the top coat at quarter to nine. But yeah, it's been crazy. Like since we've been on the go since... Oh, so all day, what? 12 o'clock. Yeah, but me all day, because prepping and getting ready to go and all that, but like this whole tanning and registration has been, and getting here has been just flat out since like 12 o'clock. Um, PCA, I tell you, was very well run because you just had to send your music through email, all the registration was done so easy, boom, two seconds. There was none of that crack what we had to do today. And the tanning as well was way more professional. You know, you could tell they were tired in there to see it tonight, like, you know, a half nine. She's like, what are you wearing tomorrow? And I thought she meant, like, what clothes? And I said, well, this baggy trousers. She's like, no, what are you wearing? I was like, oh, posing trunks. I thought it was obvious I'm wearing a bloody sock, you know, <laughs> but no. And the place, the tanning place was just so small. There was no room. Like, if you're a big dude, which I'm not, but if you were bigger than me, you would have big trouble. Like, even where you're getting the tan, you're on this little tiny stage, and when you, when they say turn around, you're there trying to wiggle around to try turn because there's no room. And she's like, don't hit off anything now, you'll get the tan, but like it's impossible not to hit off something. And then the drying area, like, it's about this narrow, you're there standing in this little hallway trying to dry. It's, no, I'm very not happy with the service of uh, a few of the things, but, like... <laughs> We definitely don't care because we're still going to go win tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I do much prefer the PCA, this side of things, so far anyway. So we'll see how the show goes tomorrow. Uh, does that go any better than how today went? But yeah, we're still in high spirits, you know. We got the everything we need done and, you know, it's pretty, it's okay, you know. I'll show you what the tan looks like in a minute and... Uh, in the mirror and I'll show you what I'm having for my last meal. I didn't get much footage today because you know it was just all go 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 and I, there was nothing to record. Um, yeah and then when we got back right pissing rain all day right the worst weather you could have actually just to add to the fire now I'll share. I know it sounds all negative now but you know it's it's because it's not good. Um, it's pissing rain all day you're there trying not to get your tan wet and let it run down and then when I got this, this second coat on, I looked outside, pissing around, so I had to run out to the car. My feet probably got all splashed now, and they probably ruined the tan. So Claire was all half asleep in the car, right? So she didn't want to wait for me when we got to the hotel. I was trying to get out of the car because she parked about this close to a car, and I was trying not to hit off anything to get the tan destroyed and try to open up the umbrella at the same time and get out. It was a nightmare. So she didn't want to wait for me, so she went. I didn't know the name of the hotel or the the number of the hotel room. So I was there walking around the hallway screaming, Claire, Claire. And I was on the second floor, not realizing we're actually on the fifth floor. So I, I had to go back down to reception. I'm like, sorry, I'm, I don't know the number of my room. And she left me because she was too tired in the car. So I don't know the room, can you give me the number? And then she told me and I was like, right, I was way off. It was like the fifth floor, five, or I don't know what it is, but it was 500 and something. I, I was on 200 and something rooms calling her name. <laughs> but I found it, we got here <laughs> at long last. It's been absolutely crazy. But, you know, it's an experience to say the least and I definitely won't forget. <laughs> She's there eating her oats now, giving me the evils. Yeah. <laughs> you see Claire? Look at her. <laughs> You know, I'm happy I whipped out the camera to get her laughing again. <laughs> you know, hopefully she stays that way when I switch this camera off. I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't really want to turn it off in case she goes crazy again. <laughs> well, yeah, I uh, I have cut water since. God, what time since? One, oh, three o'clock. Yeah. No water since 3 o'clock, so I'm looking forward to a whole 200 mil uh, and my Greek yogurt, uh, which I'm very, very excited about. So I'm going to show you what the tan is looking like. 
and this will be washed off in the morning. Oh uh, yeah, the tan is done very differently this time as well. At the piece aid, they told us not to wash it off. Like you get it done, go home, sleep in it, then come back in, get the top coat done, don't wash it off, compete. And yeah, this time it's done very differently. You, you get your base coat done, you wash it off, put in this other base coat on, wash it off in the morning, and go get the, the top coat. And I'm pretty sure you wash that off too. So it's very strange. Um, the way it's, it's all done a bit different, so it'd be interesting to see the outcome and will it look better, but yeah I was very nervous when they said wash it off because I was like, are you sure? Like it's probably all gonna come off me like I'm so white But yeah, that's enough jibber jabber. We'll show you what she's looking like see what the midsection is looking like We're still going wee wee's a lot, which is good, which means I'm drying out well and Yeah, hopefully tomorrow morning. We're gonna look peel to the bone so I'm gonna get to this bathroom now and show you. Okay, so I'll try to lift this up without taking her off. Taking off any of this bloody tan. Oh boy. We're looking hella lean. Yep. Nice tight midsection, that's what you want. And sorry I can't show you anymore because I'm afraid to take off the tan and uh, I can't show you my legs, I can't show you anything else, but um, yeah, hopefully it'll be all good now in the morning and I don't sweat it all off wearing this hoodie. So yeah, and I'll show you my last meal -io once I get ready for bed and finally get to relax my peeps. Yeah, we're nearly good to go. I didn't get my badge number yet. They said they'd give me that in the morning, but my number was 42 beside the music list. So I assume I could be 42. So there's no eight in it, but you know, we'll see tomorrow what number I get, but I'm predicting it's 42, but. Claire, what age are you? 44. Ah, she's 44, so no, 42 doesn't mean anything. If that is the number, well, we should see. Um, Yeah. I think that's everything. So I should check back in when we get the final Melio and see you then, my people. And we are finally on the bed, my peeps. We are here, we met it, we are on the final meal. My favorite, which was brekkie, it is peanut butter, dark chocolate, Greek yogi, and darklet, darklet, chocolate orange protein one of my favorites for sure and a little bit of salt and i'm absolutely buzzing for this all day and i get to wake up tomorrow morning have my lovely oats yes and we have the queen here getting her beauty sleep <laughs> yeah it's been a long day claire hasn't it mm -hmm. yeah we did it though and fair play to this woman because she did drive me around my little chauffeur all day which is you know it is hard in itself especially driving around places you don't know uh driving up to limerick driving me back to the town place driving me to the registration driving me back to the town back to the hotel do it all again tomorrow the same with the galway um so what we'll do is I'll treat her to the lovely meal tomorrow. <laughs> That's what we'll do. To reward my, what's the word I'm looking for? Treat her, yeah. We'll treat her to the burgers tomorrow. And I can't remember the name of the burger place we're going to. I Google, I think it's called Loki's, Loki Burger. But they look pretty cool because the burgers come like wrapped in, I don't know, tin file or something like that. It's very different. It looks like what you see in America. Uh, what was it, Five Guys or In and Out or something like that. So it looks really good and I look forward to bringing you along with me with my medal around my neck again. And we do it in style. So yeah, this was one day out, my peeps, from the RABBF Nationals. And I think it was episode 19. I could be wrong, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. And I shall see you in the morning for short day number two. So, I shall see you in the morning, my peeps. 
Peace out, Cub Scouts. Now, what do we say? Peace out, Cub Scouts. Yes. Let's get this meal in. <laughs>